So super exciting. Saw a swarm right there. It was cast not that far, maybe 10, 15 feet that way. And what we have here is engorged honeybees, a bunch of drones, and plenty of bees. So I'm going to gently shake them into a new box. And if I get the queen, they should establish a new home and set themselves up there. So here's the main cluster and I'm gonna see if I can't shake them into this box. Hoping that they will recongregate. If the queen made it into the box, the likelihood of the workers and drones following is quite high. So after my first attempt, you see quite a few bees there. If the queen made it into the box, my experience tells me that all the other ones will also follow. And so basically what they're doing is following that queen, the drones are going and scouting, they do their mating dance, but they're looking for a new home. And if they like their new home, then they'll stick around. So what I have is, that's a ware frame, which I've put some lemongrass vials in and some old propolis. And that signals the bees that that's an appropriate home for them to move in. Look at that, they're coming along nicely. Yeah. Not sure if I got that queen in that gray tote, but there's quite a few bees on the ground, which I haven't really seen much of. Usually they're 10, 15 feet up in a tree. So we'll see if they stick. So I got, I think, maybe half in this tote here. And I'm gonna try to gently brush the rest into the tote so I can transport them to their final home. Being around swarms is one of the most exciting and abundant feelings I've had. Uh, you'll notice I'm not wearing any equipment. It's because the bees are typically engorged with all the nectar reserves that they're traveling with. As they establish a new home, they're trying to find suitable locations that they'll send their drone scouts out to find and they'll engorge themselves with honey. So they're pretty docile. I'm not too worried about getting stung. Never got stung dealing with a swarm. Usually after they've st started uh, establishing themselves and then they have a home to protect is when they sting. They don't typically sting when they are looking for a new home because they have no home to defend. So we'll see if I can't get the rest in. So I got the main cluster. I'm heading over here. This is an empty ware box. Emilia ware was a French beekeeper who wanted to create a system that would be accessible for all. So it's a top bar style and I happen to have some empty boxes. So we got an empty box here and we got frames there with some lemongrass and some propolis, which will signal to the bees that it's a good place to be. Let's see how this goes. Now I'll slowly back up and see if they like it there. Not certain if the queen made it into that box, but if she did, the rest will follow. Yippee! So it's been a couple minutes since I put them in here. And this is always such an exciting time because there's so much going on. These bees are executing their natural tendencies to procreate and proliferate. Seem like they're doing pretty well. Can't tell until they've spent a couple days in their new home, but they look like they're settling in nicely. So what looks like to me is an increasing and overwhelming number of bees coming into this. I hope, I hope, they'll find its suitable home and decide to stay. So now we wait. We got as many bees as I can manage to get into the hive. And it looks like quite a few. If the queen's there, they should take up residence. And the really cool thing about this is I didn't even have to hang swarm traps. Usually I would climb up a tree, bait a hive, strap it down and check it several times. But I didn't get around to it this year. And the beautiful thing is some of our own colonies cast a swarm, 
which then duplicates the numbers of resilient genetic survivor stock. We don't feed, we don't treat, we do one or two inspections a year. So we allow the bees to execute their natural tendencies. And at the same time, it multiplies our apiary. So this is gonna give us a fun trial at playing around with the Ware hive. We mostly run lay ends, which is a horizontal style. This is a top bar style, uh, kind of more similar to Langstroth in the way that supers are added on the top. There's some variabilities, but we'll see how it goes. Seems like they found a new home though. About 45 minutes later, most of the bees are inside. They're here to stay. I don't want to disturb the ladies too much, but there's a good strong cluster in there, leading me to believe that they have decided that this is their new home. About 20 minutes after I last checked, you can see most of the bees made their way inside. So not gonna count my eggs before they hatch, but I'm pretty sure we got this swarm.